hello welcome back to my channel so today is a really quick and hopefully easy makeup look only because it's freedom day here in Melbourne we're finally getting out of lockdown and I just want to put some quick yeah a little quick face on just to go out and about in I am fully vexed so we're here all right now I've already got my skincare and my sunscreen on I think I want this to be more of like a skin focused look. I bought a whole bunch of Charlotte Tilbury not too long ago and I'm really itching to just wear it out. So I'm going to use the Flawless Filter first and I'm going to put this all over my face. When I used this I really liked it, like really really liked it. I think everybody in Melbourne is super excited that we can finally after so long, we are the longest state to have been in lockdown. This lockdown was meant to be a snap lockdown, which wasn't the case. And I think just as a little bit more extra coverage, I'm going to use like um, a really light foundation. And I'm thinking I'll probably use the Milk, what is this, Milk uh, Sunshine Skin Tint. So I'll just pop some out. Not a lot, just a little bit, because I'm going to put concealer on it as well. Just want like a touch more coverage just on the center of my face. It's going really well with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Can't wait to get my Botox. I've got my eyebrows booked for next week. Super exciting. Just going to bring it down slightly. We'll chuck on a bit of concealer as well. You know what, I'm actually going to use my NARS Concealer Pot for my concealer. I'm just going to use a little, um, I think this is a domed, I oh know, Deluxe, Deluxe Crease Brush. Just picking up a little bit of my concealer. I'm going to conceal these hideous dark circles that I continuously have. I don't think I can begin to explain how excited I am to be able to wear makeup and like go out. I don't really go clubbing much at all, but I mean like out for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm definitely going to use all my cream, cream products first before I set anything with powder. I'm also going to go up here with the concealer because I'm not sure if I'm going to use an eye pencil and I think I might put around my mouth as well, around my nose. I might move on to cream bronzer and I'm going to use the, oh, good catch, the NARS Laguna. This is a beautiful cream product, like it's such a beautiful cream bronzer. And I haven't had the chance to wear it out, so I'm going to be doing that today. And it looks quite, you know, heavy when you first apply. But once you blend it out, it, it blends so effortlessly, it's so good. And I'm really going to bring that in the outer corner of my eye as well, start to give that shape. And then like, if you feel like you can't, you know, not happy with how far you've gone or whatever and what have you, you can just bring your concealer brush or your foundation brush and really just go over and perfect it all. All right, I think while we're here as well, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in spotlight and just on the highest points of my cheeks this is such a gorgeous product like I'm so happy I could get my hands on it I'm just going to apply it where I want you know illumination and I'm just gonna use the brush that I use the bronzer on to just help me blend that in like look at how oh, seriously that glow is freaking incredible. I can't wait to get my hands on the contour wand as well. I feel like that's going to be a really amazing product too. I think now let's set everything. So I'm going to go in first with my e.l.f. sheer tint finishing powder because it's lighter than my airbrush powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't want to put that darker one underneath my eyes so I'm just going to use this e.l.f. one underneath my eyes to set the concealer there. Then I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush for Flawless Finish Powder and what I'll do is I will grab a really fluffy brush, big fluffy brush, face brush, kind of like this. I'll just tap it in and set the skin. 
and you'll see like the heart the cream highlighter that we put down still you know comes through and shines through let's do bronzer and i'm going to use this big heifer one of a bronzer the airbrush bronzer by charlotte tilbury this is in number three tan i think i might use the same big powder brush to be honest so i can get it really smoky and boned out see how it's sort of when you put bronzer there it sort of already contour contours the eye it's a really handy trick all right let's do some blush and for that i think i won't use pillow talk i think i'll use something else i think i might use this nars palette and i'll dip into that light pink and the one below just make a little concoction and apply that. Really want it to be quite heavy up here. Blush always, I feel like, tones down quite nicely. I might put a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well. Just a touch. Not too much. It's looking really intense on camera, but I promise you in real life it does not look like that whatsoever. And then, I think just to go over the top of that spotlight highlight I'm just going to use this one by Mecca and just really gently so now I'll just spritz my face make sure all the powders kind of like marry and merge together I'm just going to use the Colourpop pretty pretty fresh hyaluronic setting mist okay, I definitely don't think I'm going to be using um, false eyelashes today I think Mascara will be alright, so I'm just gonna do like maybe a brown smoky eye. So I'm just gonna put this as a base. It's this Scandal Eyes by Rimmel in Hydro Fudge. No, Bad Girl Bronze. Just on the lid. That's why I took the concealer underneath my brows and stuff, so that way it's all nicely concealed. Now I'm gonna really blend this. Just so it has like the eyeshadows have some thing to stick to and I'll also bring that underneath my eyes as well I want to use my Vive palette today love this palette so much I think I'll go in with buff first right here and I'll plop that all up in my crease as a little transition shade just like really gently I don't want it to be too yellow under here as well. I'll go into Delicious, which is this brown shade here. And this is pretty much the shade that I want all over the lid and up in the crease. Okay, so I got a bit ahead of myself and I went ahead and applied some of the Goodnight shade, which is a black shade. Um, a little bit here on the inner co uh, outer corner, glimmer in the inner corner, a little baby black wing. And I went ahead and did my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara to really coat my lashes. Probably won't curl them, to be honest with you. But I am going to really apply a couple of coats of this. But I'm going to be putting more mascara on the top lashes than I am the bottom. Alrighty, so mascara is on. Let's move on to lips. And I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude. Sure is. Iconic Nude. Let's just line the lips with that. I am going to slightly overdraw, but I think what I might do as well is grab a darker lip liner. Go with this Urban Decay Conspiracy lip liner and just very gently darken the outer portions of my lip line. Just really gently like that. What I might do is I'm going to grab this Aladdin and MAC lipstick in Friend Like Me. Apply a little bit of that to the center of my lips. And I'll tuck that in. I'll apply a little bit of lip gloss. You see, this is the Anastasia Diamond Lip Gloss. Just a little touch. Or you could use a lip balm as well. And that's it. I'm ready for Freedom Day. Cannot wait. Got to fix this hair and change, obviously, but seriously, though, I cannot wait. So I'm excited to be able to go out and about and do things. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was really simple, easy, but um, I thought, why not? I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.